Hey guys, that Geeky Christian here. Just want to tell you guys today about a, a program I downloaded from my Trio called Teal OS. It's a new application launcher for Palm that emulates the look and feel of the web OS that's coming out for the Palm Pre. I think it's pretty cool, and I think you will too. Here's a little bit of it in action from a distance. Check that out. Ooh, pretty. I'll show you guys some close-ups soon. Basically, it's a new way to launch your applications in a Palm, an older Palm OS. It adds some pretty neat features that I'll show you, and it really just changes the look and feel of your Trio. So, if you've got a Trio and you're, you're kind of tired of the old look and feel, or uh, if you're looking into maybe getting a Centro and you don't really want the old Palm operating system, then then I think Teal OS may be a good point, option for you. So, hope you guys enjoy some of the features. Let me show you what we have. The only videos I've found so far demoing the TLOS application launcher one is Centro. And as you guys know, Centros don't necessarily have the horsepower that a Palm Trio has. So it doesn't necessarily run as smoothly. Now you can see I'm scrolling back and forth. I can do the same thing with my finger. See that shrinks it if you just tap the screen. You want to scroll back and forth. Tap the screen again. It makes your applications larger. Then in whatever you say you want to bring one up, let's bring up the dictionary. Tap the screen. And bam, opens right up. Then you want to get back, just hit your home page right here. Also, you can tap this button right here to bring up the old, somewhat old style application launcher, but it has uh, updated graphics, updated icons. It looks a little bit nicer. You see, I'm scrolling back and forth here with the directional pad, but you can also just literally tap, scroll back and forth with this. And you see that it moves up and down. If you have more than just that screen's worth, you can show them on the screen. Also, for you, guys like me that have used Palm in the past, you can also tap right here to go to different categories. So let's just go over here to uh, multimedia, see what we have in there. If you hit the home button again, it takes you right out and you're able to scroll back through and look at things. You can bring up pocket tunes and play songs or things like that if that's what you want to do. You know, I uh, better not play too much of that or get into copyright infringement. Um, and if, say, you're in, say you're in something and you want to go to something else. It has a new thing called Wave Launcher, which is really cool. You just bring it up, scroll over, and you can bring up things like documents. I've got camera, documents, memos, calculator, preferences. Uh, let's open up the uh, documents here. Bring up Palm Documents to Go. And it brings up Documents to Go. So, and you want to inside Documents to Go, you want to go to the calculator, brings up Calculator. Just hover right over and calculate your heart's delight. And you're going to get back to your home screen, hit home, brings you right back to your screen. It's got some pretty neat features in here. You can actually load this down here up with uh, applications. If you go to option and uh, quick launch bar, you can add whatever you want in here. Uh, right now I've got it showing the quick, showing some buttons, but I don't have it showing these necessarily. These. If I tap this right here, okay, brings them back up. I don't necessarily use that, so I turn them off. But you can go in here and uh, show your quick launch bar. Also, you can go and change your background with a tool, import JPEG. They've added a, a fairly new feature to the, uh, to it. This, this program is in beta mode. It, it's updating constantly. But you can go in and, and look at what you have in here, open up your uh, pictures, and, and it will actually allow you to uh, preview uh, whatever JPEG you've brought up. Uh, if you brought up a large one, one drawback is a larger picture does take quite a while to load. And I should have checked that one before I did it. Uh, that's actually uh, a JPEG from a eight, 10 megapixel camera. It takes a little bit of time to load and really you can't get anything but the top corner. So if it's bigger than 320 by 320, just know you can't crop it. It will actually only show the top corner. I'm just going to abort that. We'll be back momentarily. Okay, that's aborted. Let me go over here to the actual card, DCIM, Palm. We'll look at some of the Palm uh, set. We'll view that. See, if now this would be my picture if I were to use that Palm standard telephone JPEG that comes on the phone as my background. Anyway, that's, that's something you can do. You can change your background. It's got all sorts of other features. Uh, you can lock and unlock cards. These are called cards. If you have a card that you want shown all the time, you can lock it. If you have one that you uh, have locked and you don't want it, you can unlock it. And if, you, if, if your screen gets filled up with cards, you can simply just swipe them away. 
Whatever you don't want, just swipe it away. You want to bring one up, tap it open. It's as simple as that. Another neat feature that it has is you're able to go in here and soft reset your device from inside the inside the unit. Um, the, a drawback to the Trios for me is that in order to soft reset your device, you have to pull the battery out. I like being able to do it inside the software, and here's a nice way to do that. I'm not going to soft reset my device now. So it's a really neat addition to a Palm OS, and um, I believe that if you play with it a little while, you'll like it. For me, it really makes my Trio much more enjoyable, and um, I, I, I was willing to pay the $14.95 for it. I think a lot of other people will too. Okay, that was an overview of the Teal OS operating system. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I uh, hope it was informative. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or uh, email me at thatgeekychristian at gmail.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and look me up on YouTube. Take care.